Hey y'all and welcome back to my room. So for today I have a pretty good lineup. I have things that I'm going to do today. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you my beauty space today. A lot of people ask me that what does it look like and honestly it's a mess most of the time. I cleaned it up enough to show the whole area um, but for the most part it's pretty messy. I'm going to talk about some new releases from the small brands also from the large brands. But right now, I'm just going to put a face on and get ready for the day. If you're interested in seeing what I got going on today, keep watching. So as always, I'm going to start the day out with KK's Glow Passion. It has really made my face feel and look so good. And I just gotta be a little bit careful because my face is swollen a little bit today, which means I'm trying to get an abscess tooth and it's not fun. So I get this all worked in, even some in my hair, help give it a little, a little something something. I'm going to finish off prepping my face with Tatcha Silk Canvas. I'm so sad that this is almost gone. Um, I never expected to like it as much as I do. But I think I will buy a bigger one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this on my face and I'll be right back. So I'm trying out foundations for summertime. <clears throat> and what's going to work good for my skin. So this is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. I'm going to put this on and see what I think. Um, it's just a hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid. I've heard it being talked about. And I've never used an essence foundation before. So I'm really just curious to see if this is going to look like an actual foundation. Or is this going to look like a tinted moisturizer. So I'm just going to show this really quick because I'm about to pull it off and prep my face again. I don't know how well you can see. This is after me trying to layer this foundation up. It is sitting so oddly on my face and it's already like separating and breaking down. No. Okay, so I went in and I fixed it. I just reapply it, reapplied my skin prep. And then I'm trying still this True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Something I did notice though, my skin may just be really hydrated right now. But this one didn't do it yesterday, but it almost tried to break up again like today. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too hydrated and I need a like a more matte primer down. But I went ahead and I threw on the Natasha Denona Concealer to help this look. So Trablux sent me over some of her Hilux. This is a highlighter and this is a blush. They are cream, just goodness, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit on the face and get this on. And yesterday when I was swatching them, they went on. And then when I blended them, it was so nice. It was like they just blended out and they were so smooth. Like, look at that. Look how easy that's blending out. And you could probably use these as eyeshadows. You could build them up to be as pigmented as you wanted. But you can see like they are blending out so super soft. I actually didn't put enough over here and like you still have this pretty easy application of the doe foot which is something different I know that rare beauty has one um but I, I think she did hers well it doesn't really matter because you could use this for the same reason um lip gloss or it could be an eyeshadow but just look how pretty that is. It is so soft. This is in soft pink. I really like this. It is, looks so stinking pretty. Yeah. So this is the highlighter. It is in strobe. 
and I'm just gonna place a little bit down. Let me get some on there. And then I'm just gonna take the other side of the sponge. Look how pretty that is. I knew it. I knew when I, these two were together yesterday on my hand and I kind of like meshed them together, how beautiful they were gonna be sitting on the skin. It's so nice. It gives such a pretty glow. I really love these and I'm so thrilled that she sent them. Okay, so I went ahead and set my face, got my brows on. I used my e.l.f. and Billion Dollar Brows. And I've got some Magic Balm from Royal Girl working on my lips. And now I'm going to move on. And I'm just going to use this ColourPop um, Sweet Cheeks palette um, as my face palette today. I really did enjoy it. Um, ColourPop sent me an email. They're sending me a new one of these that isn't broken. So that's really nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this and I'll be right back. Okay, so for today, I'm going to dive into my Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I actually got this for my birthday. So I really, really wanted to play with it today. Just create a really, like soft glam look because the lipstick I'm going to use fits that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start out with this shade here. It's called Transition, which is not what it's called. It's how she set the palette up this time to where, <clears throat> sorry, she made it to where you would know she intended for certain shades to go. I prepped my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and now I'm just going to get this on. You know what? I think it would be fun if I, like, follow how she has these mapped out. So, this is the only one right here she has marked crease, so I'm going to take it into the crease. I'm so intrigued by this now. I was just thinking, oh, you know, she's just trying to help. But if you guys have ever seen Natasha Denona do a look with one of her palettes, it is so crazy how beautiful it comes out. Well, so I'm going to follow the steps today. <clears throat> I want to look like Natasha Denona did my makeup. So I'm just getting that into the crease. And working it in, working it in. Okay, and then she has this one labeled blend. So I, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend a little bit and see what happens. Whoa, whoa, Natasha. And then this one is labeled smoke. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I don't know where exactly she's wanting smoky, but we're going to put it right here. Because that's where I would put it. If I'm making it smoky and sultry. And smoking it. Funny part. Not really funny, but I was just kind of reading about Natasha Denona, like, where she even came from. Um, turns out she was, like, a makeup artist turned world award-winning makeup artist turned makeup brand. So, you see, she started out, um, as this indie brand working her way around the scene and then she blew up that's why it's important to support small brands and support indie brands super 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 okay she's got this one label labeled outer outlet she, i mean she has a couple of these but this is the one i'm going to choose today so that's the one i'm going to put on the outer eyelid right here she says outer eyelid Okay, Natasha. I'm putting it on the outer eyelid. 
How am I looking so far? How am I looking? How am I looking? Huh? Okay, so got that one on. And then she must put this one in the center. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this into the center. Okay, now she wants to put this one into the inner corner. So that's what we're doing. Let's let Natasha tell me what to do. I don't know, I think this is fun. Talking with Natasha. I'm gonna pat that on right there. Okay. 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 And then she's got this one for your brow bone. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there's only one, so I'm assuming that she thought this color would be, um, pretty universal for any look you created in the palette. It's so pretty. There we go, brow bone. Okay, she wants you to use this one here as your, uh-oh. Okay, she wants you to use this one here as your lash line. So I'm just taking an angled brush. And I'm sweeping it onto the lash line. Okay, so I also went ahead and popped on a pair of eyelashes. Um, it came in the this big pack that was sent over to me in PR. These are I Seek eyelashes. It's a huge pack of them. How many? 14 pairs are in here, and I've used a few of them. So today for my lips, this is Pixin Cosmetics. This is her cute little lipstick. It's red, and we're going to put it on because it's going, it's going to look fabulous with this look. So we're going to put it on. And y'all know I already got my lips scrubbed down with Royal Girl. And I've had her balm on. Uh, I'm going to spray down and clean up and I'll be right back. All right. So this is my finished look for the day. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out the small brands that I use. Have fun with your makeup, but most importantly, really support them, shop with them, um, send them all the good vibes. Just stop and say hello and show them tons of love. This lipstick is so soft and creamy. It is so beautiful. Luxe's cream blush and highlight. Oh my gosh. It really helped everything just look so perfect today. I hope that these lashes <laughs> don't go crazy on me because I have other videos to make. But anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Happy Saturday. Be safe, be a light, spread love, like glitter, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.